Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2022 Yonix Canada Open. My name is Phoenix. We are here at the Mark and McPhail Center in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And the final matches order of play today. We just saw the doubles play with Team Japan winning over Team Japan. Next, the mixed doubles. Showcasing the powerhouse of duo Midori Kawa and Saito looking for the third title this year. And here's how they actually got here in the first round. It took him to three games against Team Canada. A great showing from Team Canada. And in the second round, uh, it was a convincing win, again, against another Team Canada. And for the team of, of We and Sin, it was a little easier return. Okay, I think we're ready for the mixed doubles. This is the finals here at the 2022 Yonex Canada Open BWF Super 100 Finals presented by Sun Life and in come the umpires. Leading off the charge is Iris Matspalu from Estonia. She was an umpire in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and she's been umping, umping for over 13 years. Followed by service judge Sebastian Courval. He is from France. 12 years at the sport and an umpire at the French Open 750. Both judges come with high credentials. And why not? We're in the finals of the mixed doubles, and let's introduce you to the players. Here they come. Leading the charge is Hikori Midorikawa, a 22-year-old with 77 wins in men's singles and men's doubles and mixed doubles. And followed by partner Natsu Seitu, a 22-year-old with 110 career, career wins in women's uh, singles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles, ranked number 46 in the world in mixed doubles. As I mentioned earlier, two career wins for both of them, looking for career win number three. But they are up against a tough, tough group here. Team Chinese Taipei. Yi Hongwei, a 22-year-old, ranked number 70 in the world in mixed doubles, and his partner, Li Chia Sin, 25-year-old, also ranked number 70 in the world in mixed doubles. These two are evenly matched. This will be a lot of fun to see how this one transpires. Now, as both teams get themselves ready, they'll make their way to the court for the coin toss, the official coin toss. And everyone greets each other and deciding which side of the court they would like to start off with. It's Mido and Saitu and Yi and Li. It is black. Yes. And they will take the yes. Team Japan will take the far court and taking the near court is Chinese Taipei. And Chinese Taipei will be serving first in this mixed doubles finals as the umpires get themselves settled and both teams although they've been warming up probably for the last 15 minutes this is just to, to acclimatize themselves to the court to the surroundings with the crowd just to feel the comfort to get rid of all those Apprehensions, if you will, to start. Uh, we mentioned Hi Hiroki Midorikawa. Uh, also, seven tournaments this year. This is the only the second time that he has reached the quarterfinals this year. So, beyond the quarterfinals, this is the final match for him. And uncharted territory, but exciting as well. His partner right there, uh, Natsu Sato. Eight tournaments this year. And the second time making it to the semis. The first time squaring off against this team from Chinese Taipei. Speaking of which, Yi Hong Wei. This will be Yi's ninth tournament of the year, winning the Portugal International and the Nantes International with partner Li Chia Sin. So they've been doing something. They've been making some noise. And what about Li Chia Sin? Well, 12 tournaments this year, typically on average, 
players are looking at about nine tournaments, so she uh, she's really put herself out there, winning the Slovak Open in March and the Australian Open in May. So again, a force to be reckoned with, and there they are. And there again is our match umpire, Iris Metzpalu from Estonia, and I was chatting with her earlier, and I believe after this tournament, she is heading back home to Estonia. And from France, Sebastian Kuval, who has been uh, around the circuit for the last 12 years, and he is your service judge for this match. Again, we're looking at the mixed doubles. This is the finals. And it's been quite a competition right, here point. for the 2022 Yonex Canada Open BWF Super 100 Finals. It is the international category presented by Sun Life. First point coming up. What's that? Oh, here. And a beautiful crowd turning out today to watch the finals here. And again, it's one of those opportunities that rarely comes around here to Calgary, Alberta. And when the opportunity presents itself, well, the crowds do come out. And for these players, boy, do they appreciate it. Because if you're involved in the action, they love the energy. Mixed doubles. Here comes Ladies the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Rai, Lee Hongwei, and, and Lee Chia Xin, Chinese Taipei. And they'll be in the near court wearing yellow. And on my left, Hiroki Midorikawa and Natsu Saito, Japan. And they'll be in the far court wearing blue. Lee Jashin to serve to Natsu Saito. Love all. Play. One love. Aye. Some so early mistakes over. by both sides. One all. Aye. No doubt, just getting the nerves out first, which is understandable. Service so over. Two, one. Like their predecessors, Team Japan cannot afford any unforced oh. errors. Over. But both teams, again, Two, nerves four. are showing. Unforced errors by both sides to this point. So, yes, let's change the shuttle. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll help. to be long and it Three, is two. Saito to serve and a beautiful cross court return Four, by two. Hong Wei correction Five. by Maduro Kawa Gets another point. Service over. And a beautiful touch Three, by Chinese four. Taipei. And expect to see a lot more of that Service from over. the backcourt. Five. Three. Dorikawa was some fantastic elevation in his smashes. 
And a nice aggressive step forward by Saito. They've Six, won two tournaments three. this year and for good reason. Up by three. Oh, just beautifully positioning Seven, herself three. at the front court. Now a four point separation. Aggressive up front. And it pays off again for Team Japan. Eight, three. Nine, three. Unforced error. Yi Hongui. They've got to get past this. And there's another unforced error. That's four unofficially Ten, for Team Chinese three. Taipei leading into the interval. And there is another one. Five 11, unforced three, errors for Chinese Taipei. Japan taking full advantage of this with an astounding 11-3 lead. A reminder, this is the finals for the mixed doubles, and it's Team Blue, Team Japan, who has the experience already. A couple of wins, a couple of titles underneath their belt for this year, so they are coming in with a whole whack load of excitement and confidence where this team, Team Chinese Taipei, They've got to get past the nerves. It, it's so evident right now that they're making foolish mistakes that they didn't do leading up to this moment. And right now, they've got to just shake it off and realize, okay, we're at the interview. Seconds. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Let's seconds. see what we can do. They cannot let these points get away from them. And a lot of the points, the last check that I had, four or five points, they've already given away in unforced errors. These two are solid. 11-3. Play. Midorikawa to serve. There's that elevation we were talking about. My goodness. 12-3. And again. Trying to change over. the pace. Four, twelve. Five, twelve. Chia Sin with the return. We with the serve. Oh. Service over. Thirteen, five. Beautiful change of pace again for Midorikawa. 14, 5. You just don't know what he's going to do. And when you have that unpredictability, you have the advantage. And it's a 14, 5 advantage, game one. 15. 15, 5, five advantage. Sato to serve. Beautiful touch, beautiful touch. Not much you can do with those ones. 16, five. Chia Sin reached for as far as she could go, but not <laughs> enough to elevate the shuttle over the net. 16, five. Again, right back in the throat of Team Chinese Taipei. There it is. Service over. Trying it, but willing to take a chance. Midorikawa, Six, why not when you're up by 10? New shuttle in play. Mm. Down the line, just making it. Seven, Beautifully 16. placed. By that young lady, Chia Sin, who's now serving. 
be out. And now aggressive is Chia Sin. Eight, 16. This team definitely needs her energy. Beautiful cross. Nice touch, change of pace. There's the elevation. What he does in that backcourt is magnificent. Madurakawa showing off his skills. 17, eight, a nine point lead. First game, Team Japan with the lead. Beautiful cross. And just out, another unforced error for Team Chinese Taipei. 18, eight. Unofficially, I have seven unforced errors for Team Chinese Taipei. And a beautiful cross court by we by Hong Wee. So over, 9, 18. It's one of those shots you keep in your back pocket to remind you, okay, I'm going to be doing this again. Right to the back end, over. Saito Nine, saw the opening Nine. and wins the point. Six. Two away from winning the first game. Silver. And then there again, Chia Sin Ten. steps into it. 19. Eleven, nineteen. That one just falls short. Twelve, nineteen. No doubt Team Japan wants to finish this out quick. They cannot let off the gas. Fantastic smash so from Mirodorakawa. 20, game point 12. He's definitely been a difference maker in this first game. And that one looks to be long, and it Ten. is game number one goes to team number to team first Japan. And the team of Hiroki Midorikawa and Natsu Saito, again, very familiar with winning tournaments this year. And to have a third one underneath their belt, boy, that would go a long way and a convincing first game win. Now the coaches come in, at least for Team Japan. I've just noticed here that Team Chinese Taipei doesn't have a coach, but there's no doubt giving them some uh, pointers. Uh, it's Chinese Taipei that might need some pointers because the aggressive play of Team Japan is absolutely dominating this first game. And of course, the backcourt work from the gentleman you saw a few moments ago, Midori Kawa, is definitely making a difference in this match. His elevation, when you get that bird to him, Boy, he takes care of business big time. But you know what? Again, we said it before. There's a reason that Team Chinese Taipei is here, even though they are the number seven seed in this tournament. The 22-year-old Yi Hong Wei and the 25-year-old Li Chia Sin uh, ranked, both of them ranked 70, 70 in uh, World Mixed Doubles competition. But they are up against a tough team in Team Japan with uh, Hiroki Midorikawa and Natsu Saito ranked number 44 and 46 respectively in the world in mixed doubles and they're showing you exactly why both teams will now change sides so on the near side we have team japan and on the far side we have team chinese taipei first game went to that team there team blue and who will take care of team who take care of game number two 20 we're about to find seconds. out 
One thing for Chinese seconds. Taipei moving forward, they have to find a way to eliminate their unforced errors. Unofficially, I have them at seven. Seven compared to two for Team Japan. Here we go with Second game number game. two. It's the mixed doubles final, Level. the 2022 Yonex Canada Open BWF Super 100 Play. Finals. Beautiful cross. And looks to be out. Chinese Taipei. One Team Chinese Taipei needs to find a way to keep those shots in play. Another unforced error. And she has been a shining star. For Team Chinese Taipei Silver. is Chia one, Sin with four. another aggressive play to the net. Tied at one, second game. Two, one. Hey. And that Silver. falls in. Two, all. Can't handle that one. And there's Midori Kawa Three, again, two. making his presence known. And again, Lee Chia Sin has taken over Silver. the point Three, tally four. for Chinese Taipei with her aggressive play tied at three. You can just hear the crowd getting into that, and why not? Boy, that is fast. Service so over. Four, three. Beautiful reaction for both teams. Point goes to Team Japan. First lead of the second game for Team Japan. Well, when you get a blast like that from Hong Wee, so you just hold your breath sometimes. Tied at four. Just out. Five, four. Three, five, five, four, four. Oh, well, now it's Yi Hong Wee's chance to step up. Last Six, two smashes. Four. Result in two points. For Team Chinese Taipei. More of that if they're going to win this match today. Beautiful cross up Silver front. Silver. Saito, Natsu Saito. Five, six. Quick to react. Catching Team Chinese Taipei off guard. Service over. And the call is Seven, in. Is in. Five. Chia Sin ah. to serve. Yeah, Team Eight, Japan getting it a little sloppy five. here. Save. Oh, and day that was uh, <laughs> just just out of the reach. Uh, Midori Kawa, beautifully Nine, placed five. by Hong Wee. Oh. 
beautiful movement on the court for Team Chinese Taipei, and that pays off. Again, Ten. it was Midori Kawa who could not get that uh, get. And a point for Chinese Taipei. Down by five. And this looks to be just out. Points. So at the interval, interval, it's Team Chinese Taipei taking a page from Team Japan and taking a commanding lead into the second game. 11-5 up by six right now. For Team Japan, they've got to get back to what they were doing in the first game. Aggressive movement on the court. Changing of the pace. And in the meantime, for Chinese Taipei, their opportunity to continue with the excellent play from both of their team, Hong Wei and Chia Sin, both of them stepping up in the second game and evident in the score. If seconds. they continue doing that, we may be making our way to a third game players on court. today. As the players return to court, Chinese Taipei in the yellow jerseys and Team Japan in the blue jerseys. 11-5. Team Japan in the Play. near court and Team Chinese Taipei in the far court. And it's Chia Sin to serve. 12-5. And a beautiful serve from her. She gets to do it again. Taking her time. Quick hands up front. And there she is again. That young lady could be the difference maker in this 13, match. Five. Her team now leads 13-5. There she is again. Look at that. Stepping right up with a beautiful backflip. A flick right 14, to the front court. Five. And now up by nine. Over. She tried a short serve, didn't quite work. 14. But a great effort from her nonetheless. Commanding lead for Team Chinese Taipei. Team Japan trying to get back. There's the quick hands. There's the elevation. Here it is again. One more time. Picked up nicely. Up front. Oh! 7-5. More of that from Team Japan is what they need right now. They are down seven. They need to make up some ground right now. Just fall short. Silver, 15, seven. Hong Wei to serve. And here's that unforced error that we seem to see rear its ugly head every now and seven. then. Uh, last count, three for Team Japan, only one for Team Chinese Taipei. Service silver. Now two. Eight, 16. Right down the middle. Service over. 17, 8. And a nice touch up front. Service over. 9, 17. Saito is not to be denied. Trying to make up some points here. She's down by 8. Team Japan down by eight. That one goes out. 10, 17. Oh. 
just him. Eleven seventeen. There's a point <laughs> that you say to yourself, okay, how many so more of these are coming at me? 18, And Chinese 11. Taipei, again, we talked about it before. If Hong Wei can step up more like that, I mean, they're already up 18-11 right now. More of that is going to prove valuable to team Chinese Taipei. And, of course, the aggressive play of that young lady, Chia Sin, doing it again. 19-11. Two points away. From game number two, going to Chinese Taipei. And that's in, one point away from game 20, number two. Game point 11. Service over. 12-20. Game. And there it is, game number two, with the same score as in game Second number game one, but this Zee time Hong for Chinese Wei Taipei. Boy, we are setting ourselves up for one final game 12. here. Both one teams have established themselves. Team Japan in game one, team Chinese Taipei in game number two. And it was just a battle up front from that young lady who was just magnificent, Chia Sin. And then, of course, the, the play of Adora Kawa. And then backcourt. Oh, 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 when you've got a smash like that coming from Hong Wei, you get out of the way and you do it fast. Well, game number three is coming up. And again, this you are watching the mixed doubles final here at the 2022 Yonex Canada Open. It's the BWF Super 100 Group Finals presented by Sun Life. Right now, there's not much that either team can uh, advice they can take. Team Japan has to remind themselves how they got to uh, win so many points in the first game. And Team Chinese Taipei has to do the same for team for game number three. Both of them, the nerves are gone. The strategy is established. And now it's just a matter of delivering. So much more still to come today, including the men's singles. We got the men's doubles and Canadian fans get ready for Babington sweetheart Michelle Lee will be taking to the court in women's singles to face a 25 year old from Chinese Taipei who last night took care of the number one seed in this tournament. Again, a great day of action. More still to come, but boy, we got to put a close on this fantastic match this mixed doubles match between team seconds. japan who is now in seconds. the near court and team chinese taipei uh, correction it'll be the other way around team chinese taipei is in the near court and team japan in the far court but to start off the third game is this powerhouse right here lee chia sin team Final chinese game. taipei game Double. number three here we go Play. <laughs> that change of pace could be the world of difference One for Chinese close. Taipei. You know that Team Japan was not expecting that early lead for Team Chinese Taipei. So the silver. One all. Service over. Two one. Each team trading serves. Take some early chances. Oh, that looks to be on too. Team Japan out of position, unable to handle that one. Three, one. Saito tripped up with that shot. 
Oh, my. Right down the line, taking the chance. And it's a payoff Silver. for Team Japan. Two, three. <laughs> Service over. Four, two. Early lead for Team Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Just out. Service over. Three, four. Silver, five, three. Three, three, three. <laughs> Again, aggressive play by Hong Wei pays off for Team Chinese Taipei. Six, now with three. a six three lead. This might be a good time to change the shuttle. Japan asking for that option, and it was given to them. <coughs> and a beautiful touch from Saito right up front. Service over. Four, six. <coughs> Five. Six. <laughs> Six. Oh. And the unforced errors are creeping up on Team Chinese Taipei. Already four in this third game. Nice get by Sato, but Hong Wei with the smash to an Seven, open part of the court. Six. Again, back with the lead. Again by three. Service so over. Seven, nine. Now you can't leave yourself open like that and Hong Wei taking advantage of that. Wait, wipe the court. Yes. One point away from the interval. The hope the now for Team Japan is to gain at least a couple of more yes. points before the Thank interval. You. They can ill afford to give up this one point right here, right now. Ten. Seven. Ah. Hong Wei to serve. Nice touch. There it is. Cross court, and it does it for him. Silver. Boy, he's such a smart player. Eight, Midori ten. Kawa. Back court, backhand, cross court. Beautiful. There's the open court. And a nice cross, Saito. 
But Chinese Taipei recovered. Big shot in the backcourt, and there he is again. Midori Kawa making his presence Nine, known. Ten. Now they've closed the gap, Team Japan, to one point. Ten, all. Another unforced error from Team Chinese Taipei. That makes unofficially six in this third game. Well, there's a turnaround of Jason. events. They came back from four points down, did Team Japan. And now, at the interval, they lead by one. What has happened in the third game? It's all about unforced errors. Six of them. Six from Chinese Taipei, two from Team Japan. And that is the difference maker right now. But again, we've got a lot of game to play. But the team of... Uh, Midori Kawa and Saito, they've been in this position before and they want to be in the top spot again. Midori Kawa already having won and reached seconds. the semifinals a couple of times. 20 seconds. And for Saito, the second time making Players it to the court. semifinals, the first time squaring off against this group here against Chinese Taipei. Thank you. As they now enter back into the court, we are watching the mixed doubles. It's the finals here at the 2022. Yonex Canada Open BWF Super 100 Finals. We hope you're enjoying 11, 10. the competition today, as are the fans. Hey. And again, the energy here is just wonderful. Team Chinese Taipei trying to tie it up right now. And with that shot, almost. And Saito tosses her racket. She realizes she Service had the shot. 11, oh. But they're still in it, tied at 11. If you're Team Japan, you just hold your breath. <laughs> 12, <laughs> And you 11. just hope that something good is going to happen. Hong Wei finding the open court and the point, desperately needed point for Chinese Taipei, who again take the lead. It's 12-11, third game. Nice touch up front. Oh, and just out. Saito taking a 13, chance. 11. A low percentage shot, and that just goes out. Now a two-point lead for Chinese Taipei. That was a tough, tough shuttle to hit. Fourteen. Little bit 11. below. Midori Kawa's racket, unable to place it over the net. Service over. And a point for Team Japan. 12 14. Just like that. They've got to make up ground right now, down by two. <laughs> Service over. 15 12. comes ah! Hong Wei delivers yet again now a four point separation 16 12 Silver, 13, 16.
Lan Chen, wipe the court, please. The aggressive play of Chinese Taipei is definitely paying off. Team Japan is just struggling to keep this one alive. Thank you. Now down by four points. Service over. In the 17. third game. 13. At stake. Ah! Mixed doubles championship. Ah! Little flicks. Service Shot over. doesn't pay off 14. for Team Chinese 17. Taipei. Midori Kawa again with the ah. serve. And again. 15. Up close. 17. Hong Wei struggling to get that one over. That's two times now. Ah. Japan still down by two points. There it is. Ah. Yeah. When you leave them that much room. From the backcourt, he'll take Service advantage over, of it. 18, 15. Service now returns to Team Chinese Taipei, and it's Hong Wei to serve. Ah! Ah! 19, 15. Ah! Two, two points away from the match. Easily caught 20, off guard. Match point 15. And here it is. Match point for Team Chinese Taipei. Hong Wei to serve. Here it is. Here it is. And again. And a change of pace. Again. Hong Wei in the backcourt. He's he is this is his point. This is his point. This is his match. This is the championship for the mixed doubles going to Chinese Taipei. And boy, did they fight back. Who would have thought after watching the first game that this is how the end would come? What a well-fought match between both teams. But in the end, Chinese Taipei stepping up, winning in, th in two and three games. The final score, 21-12. 12-21 and 15-21. And the movement 12, by Chinese Taipei was amazing. 21, but 20, the strength 21, and the positioning of this team was also quite amazing. Team Japan, they had their few moments. But in the end, in the backcourt, boy, I'll tell you. When you see Yi Hong Wei get set to smash that, that shuttle from the backcourt... <laughs> Man, you just step back and you just hold your breath and that's what happened in game number three. Well, there they are. They are your champions. The mixed doubles finals champions at the 2022 Yonex Canada Open. The team of Yi Hong Wei and Lee Chia Sin. Again, when we analyze this match, it started off a match that seemed to be dominated from Team Japan. They had all of it. They had all of it going for it. Everything was just clicking. But then the aggressive play from Chinese Taipei, that was the difference maker. Some shots made it, some shots out. They took some chances. Both teams taking some chances. But in the end, Team Japan, there's nothing they could have done to fight off shots like that from Lee Hong Wei. He was just dominating. And of course, the aggressive play up front by his partner, Lee Chia Sin, was outstanding as well. And in the end, when you've got a blast coming at you at over three, 400 kilometers an hour, bam, you just got to get out of the way. Congratulations to those championships. They, those champions, they fought, fought hard. The first game going to Team Japan, and you, I tell you, honestly, I didn't see it happening. I didn't see them coming back, Team Chinese Taipei, but they did. They established themselves in the second game and in the third game, shots like that. And the crowd, very appreciative. It's been so much fun watching competition like this. And again, Lee, uh, Yi Hong Wei, a 22-year-old, 22-year-old, ranked number 70 in the world with his partner, Lee Chia Sin. For uh, both of them, they've been involved in a lot of tournaments. For Yi, 
It is his uh, ninth tournament of, of the year. Now he won at the Portugal International and the Nantes International. And for his partner, Lee Chia Sin, she also was involved in a lot of tournaments this year. In fact, 12, typically it's about nine, give or take, but 12 tournaments that she took part in, winning the Slovak Open in March and the Australian Open in May. Well, today, add to their resume the 2022 Yonix Canada Open. Boy, that was a lot of fun. And boy, these, these fans were treated to some fantastic action. When you can get into a third game, wow, that's just a lot of fun. Okay, again, your champions. We're waiting for the official award ceremonies coming up in just a few moments here. For, for the mixed doubles, it was Team Chinese Taipei over Team Japan. By the way, Team Japan, the number one seed in this tournament at Chinese Taipei, the number seven seed. Still to come today, we have the men's single featuring badminton phenom, 17-year-old Alex Lenier from France. And in the later matches, it's, it's men's doubles. It'll be Team Japan taking on Team Japan. And you'll see why badminton is regarded as the fastest sport on earth. And for Canadian fans, yeah, we have her. She's back. She is a sweetheart in badminton here in Canada. Her name is Michelle Lee. We're going to see her take to the court a little later this afternoon. But here are your runner-ups. And, of course, very an emotional time, too, for this team of Hiroki Midorikawa and Natsu Seitu. A couple of 22-year-olds, and you can see the Natsu is taking it pretty hard. But you know what? To make it to this point, you got to give a lot of credit to her and to both of them. They'll be back. There's no question that these two will be back. It just means so much to them, and it probably means the same to these two. Team Chinese Taipei, again, coming in as this number seven seed, Yi Hongwei a 22-year-old who can smash from anywhere on the court, get out of his way, and Lee Chia Sin. What a great combination. Her up front and his power in the back, a deadly combination. And today, the title of 2022 Yonix Canada Open Mix Doubles Champions. All right, bring out those white hats. We need some photos <laughs> here in Calgary, Alberta. You got to get white hatted. And we love doing that for these, these players. And again, the uh, tale of two emotions as Natsu Saito continues to shed a few tears, and understandably, though. And here's the check for the mixed doubles champions. And no doubt that they have a big smile on their face for good reason. They'll take that home with them and the title as well. And now a couple of photos, and these will be posted online for everyone to see. And you know what? Making to this point is still a fantastic accomplishment. Again, our thanks to our partners here at Yonix for putting on this amazing tournament. And we always mention the volunteers and the great camera staff that brings you incredible angles. And of course, the production crew with, the, with everything that is brought to the table. We are so excited to continue to bring you this coverage of the 2022 Yonix Canada Open. Oh, he did put on his hat. Well, good. <laughs> now, now, all he has to do is just is fix his, his, uh, his trophy, his award. And a few more pictures. And in the wings. Uh, in a few moments, we're going to bring on Michael Smith. We're going to find out more about Michael. He'll be uh, helping you with the play-by-play -play for the men's singles. In the meantime, there once again is your are your champions for the mixed doubles. From Chinese Taipei, Yi Hongwei and Li Chia Sin. We're back with more badminton action coming up.